Yo, Zio here, and today I want to show you how to install V2 patches. Uh, because people are keep asking about it, even though it's explained in the readme of each patch, so I'll just quickly go over it. Uh, but since I'm making this video, I want to take the opportunity to say that uh, please stop downloading any patches, not, e not even just mine, any patches from other people. Uh, what I mean by that? Uh, when you want to use, for instance, my patch, don't grab it from a random friend on Discord. Just go to GitHub and download it from here. Why is it important? Because it is extremely easy to just counterfeit a patch, make it look like it's legit, but it's actually not. Uh, and it could do really anything to your game. So uh, that's just a word of caution. Please just download patches from original sources. Uh, if you want to download a patch that's distributed via Discord, then do it, but just download it from the creator of that patch. Uh, don't download it from others. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to say that, and now let's get to to how to download them. Uh, in my case, I do everything on GitHub. GitHub is a platform mainly for developers uh, to like share code, and uh, it's a basically a version control tool. But it also has something called releases, uh, which is a great tool for developers to share stuff with uh, with normal users. And that's what I do with my patches. So uh, the way to use it is uh, when you open uh, the B2Org page, that's the link, um, you see there is a bunch of repositories here. So that's the repository of one of the patch. This is the second and this is the third. This section basically doesn't concern you at all. Um, this is just code files. This is raw code, which will basically not even work most of the time when you just download it, so ignore that. Uh, what you are interested in is first of the readme, because the readme, uh, I know it's quite long, uh, it might be slightly intimidating, but the readme has all the information you need regarding what the patch does, what are the possible problems, what you should like pay attention to. So before you ask any questions, before you even use it, you should know what it does. So read this. Uh, I know most people don't, uh, and that's fine. But if you're actually having a problem and you want to ask a question, then just first check if it's not here. Uh, OK, so that's the readme. Uh, and now how to download. This is the section called releases. You can either go to the latest release directly pressing this, or you can go to releases section by pressing this. So let's do that. And as you can see, B2OP has two releases active right now. First is actual uh, B2OP 3.6, uh, which is the currently the most recent version. Uh, it might be higher up when you're watching this, depending on when you do that. Uh, and you also have uh, Ordnance Tank Fix, which I don't know if it's still there if you're watching this, uh, but for now it is uh, a patch that, uh, that we use to depatch tank on Origins. Uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll go over it in a second. Uh, let's focus on the main patches for now. Releases contain information such as the changelog between the previous release and this release with the link to full changelog file. So if you open this, uh, if you want to open it in your card, you press control and then left mouse button. Uh, so this is the changelog for all the versions since the beginning of time. Uh, so that's if you're interested. Uh, below is release info, which is probably not interesting to you, but if you need it, it's here. Uh, here you have overview which file is used for for what. Uh, so in case of B2OP, I actually have uh, three releases for each version. One is for ancient plutonium, one is for new plutonium or 2905, and one is for reducted. Uh, for other patches, that's not the case. I don't maintain uh, B2FR or B2Song for anything other than new Pluto. But B2OP, I do, because, well, Hyrans are still actively played on those platforms. Uh, whether I think that's right is beyond the scope of this video, but yeah, I, I do maintain those patches for the community. So, how to download them? Uh, here you have something called assets, uh, and here you have five things. Uh, basically, the source code, both of those are archives, and they contain the code at the state it was in when the uh, when the release was made. Uh, that does not concern you, actually. Uh, you can just ignore that. What, uh, what you're interested in is those three things. Those are the releases for each of the versions, so it's in the name. It's for Ancient, Plutonium, and Redacted. Uh, so you basically just click on that. 
and it makes you download the file. So I've already created a, a directory for it. So let's download all three of them. So now if you take a look, uh, as you see, there are two GSC files and one file for ancient plutonium. Uh, and it's a zip file. The reason why it's in a zip file is because the way you patch ancient plutonium is by injecting it uh, and you need uh, a specific uh, folder directory for that. So basically how to use that is you drag it out. You can close the zip now and we can check it's just few folders and inside that folder is just a GSC file. Uh, so basically in case of this patch for ancient uh, you cannot change anything. Uh, so you have to have maps folder, then MP, then zombies, and then uh, underscore ZM underscore utility. Uh, if you change any of that, uh, it will just break. So don't do that. Uh, in terms of these two, uh, the name doesn't matter. You can change it to anything. Now that we have files, uh, and also you don't need to download all three of them, of course. Uh, if you only play on one of those uh, those platforms, you can just download one, uh, one release, but I got all three, so I can show all three. So let's start with plutonium, uh, new plutonium R2905. Uh, and the way you do it is you press Windows R on your keyboard, which opens that run window. Uh, in that run window, you put percent local updata percent, and you press enter, which will open your updata directory. Uh, now you want to scroll down. And now I have two directories here, and let me quickly explain. Uh, so that plutonium folder is made automatically. Uh, when you install plutonium, uh, you, you open the updater, uh, you log in, you download the files, and what it does, it just puts those files in here. So this is the folder original plutonium. And this is basically 2905 files. Uh, I just put them here so they're next to each other, uh, because when I develop patches, I check how they work on both of them. Uh, but 2905, you can, it can be anywhere. Uh, basically, I assume you followed my, my video I made last year about uh, launchers uh, to install this. I recommended putting it here. To put a patch in, in 2905 Plutonium, you have to go there and enter that directory. Uh, but from here, both 2905 and Live Plutonium is the same for how to install the patch. Okay, so now in order to put it in, let's just open that directory. And now go to Storage, T6, Scripts. ZM. Uh, if you're missing any of those directories here, just make them. Uh, you might be missing scripts in T6, and you might be missing ZM in scripts. So in case you do, just create them. Uh, if you don't, you'll probably find ranked GSC inside. Uh, if it's here, just leave it here, don't touch it. It's a patch made by Plutonium. It does some stuff uh, for them. Uh, it's safe, no need to bother with that, leave it in. Uh, now you just drag that patch you downloaded from GitHub here, and that's it. You have V2OP installed in your Plutonium. Now you can open the game and verify that. Okay, so I've got my ordinance lobby here. Let's start the game and quickly see if the patch installed. And yeah, there it is. As you can see, it's right here. Right after recording the initial video, I realized I forgot to go over the origin stamp fix, so let's quickly do that. So, uh, you just download this zip file, uh, you open it. Inside there is ZM Tomb, so you extract that into your folder. And we put that into the scripts folder of New Plutonium. Uh, let me explain why it's like this. Uh, so if you open that, you see there is uh, there is the patch inside, uh, but it has to be in this folder uh, because in uh, in Black Ops 2 and in any code game really, there are scripts that are related to the game in general, and there are scripts that are related only to a certain map. And the way it works, if if you're for instance messing with the script that's only for buried, uh, it's not loaded at all on other maps. If you try to edit that with a patch and you try to reference something of that original buried script in your patch, and you try to launch Origins, for example, uh, it just got a crash, because it's uh, it's just going to be able to reference something uh, from the file that's not loaded. So what these folders do is this only makes it, makes it load this patch on Origins, because the code in this fix depends on something that's only in Origins code files. 
Uh, so if you if you for example do that, just put it here. It will work just fine if you launch Origins, but if you go play Barrett later, you're gonna crash. If it's just in this folder, it's gonna prevent that from happening. So we don't have to remove the tanks fix from your directory or with patches later on. Uh, you can just leave it in and it's just gonna not do anything on maps other than Origins. Uh, so yeah, that's how we install it. I'll now show you how to tell if patches did load on New Plutonium. So you just start the game. You open your console. Well, it's gonna be open. Just like put it on onto your game. And here now we can pause the game. Uh, and here you you look at two things. You you check GSC executed. And you, here you see what was executed. So GSC scripts have two entry points. It's the main function and it's the edit function. Uh, so the patch can have one or another or both. Uh, as you can see, B2OP has both because it calls the init and it calls the main. Now ranked has both as well. Uh, it's the plutonium patch, but the tank fix only has one and that's okay. So the way to tell if the patch you put in works at all is to see if it has either of those or both. Uh, if you put a file in and it it's not showing in either main or in sections, it just didn't load at all. So there's probably an issue with that patch. Okay, now Redacted. Uh, Redacted is basically the same idea. Uh, Redacted folder is actually like it's not a standard where it is, so wherever you install your Redacted, you have to find it uh, and enter that folder. Uh, it's gonna have those things inside, more or less. Uh, so what you want is go to Data, Scripts, and here there should be your patch in. Uh, I actually already have a patch in that I was testing before releasing, so we can remove that. And you basically drag your B2OP Redacted inside, and that's it. You have your patch. Let's verify that. Okay, so again, I'm in lobby and let's start the game and see. Yep, oh, here it is. Now, ancient. Ancient is like the biggest pain they has to do. Uh, so as you can see, uh, there is a bad file that showed up here. Uh, I made it for myself, so it's actually easier to deal with injection. I'm gonna quickly show you what's inside. So what it does is just starts my ancient and it starts my injector. Uh, so basically, this is just the name of the f the is the absolute full path to the file. Uh, so you you just have to replace uh, what I have here with with yours. Uh, if you if you want to use that, but you don't have to. I'm just showing it because I'm gonna use it myself. So some someone might be curious what what's that. So that that's what it is. Uh, it's just for convenience. The way it works is uh, there is no scripts file in in Ancient Plutonium. Uh, you basically have to start the game like normal, and then you have to inject uh, the patch inside. Uh, now at at this point, I'm gonna stop quickly and say that. Uh, the injector is wonky and I don't actually know if it's a safe program to use. Uh, I've been using it because I have to uh, when I develop the patch. But uh, yeah, I'll show the download link, but please uh, do note that I cannot guarantee that it's actually safe. So uh, unless you have a good reason to play on Ancient Plutonium, uh, just don't. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, yeah, let's do it. So when I open this, it's just gonna open both the injector and the plutonium. So I have to click through both of these. Continue. There we go. So now how to inject this. So first of all, you have to make sure that the name of your executable for ancient plutonium is t6zm.exe. This is gonna be probably like this, uh, but you want to remove that R from here. So it's t6zm. Now here you press connect to PC Redacted. Should say connected. Okay, so I quickly restart it because I misclicked. Uh, so yeah, uh, PC Redacted. You can close that. And now editor, inject folder. Now you gotta go to the directory, you download everything. Uh, it's B2 patches for me. Now you, you see maps here. So you press on maps. 
Now you press on zombies and you press OK. Now this says GSC injected. You go back to your game and now you press Tilda. Tilda is a button below escape. It's that weird tail thing. So if you press that and there is no console here, it means the injection failed and you have to like restart everything and try again. So let's do that. We close Ancient. We close Injector. And that's why I have that script because it just makes it easier. Okay, now as you can see, it did show up console after I injected, so that means the patch did inject. Yep, it's right here. Alright, now let me quickly show you how it looks for both B2FR and B2Song. Uh, it's basically the same thing. You can quickly go directly to the release here. As you can see, there are two versions. Uh, it's explained uh, in uh, in here what what is the difference. So yeah, just download whichever one you want and put it in in plutonium folder because uh, it's just only plutonium. And it's the same with uh, with song. You go in and you download the GSC file and you put it in your plutonium scripts folder. I also wanted to point out how. Uh, how easy it is to find those informations in, in the readme because all that video on in row it's 26 minutes but I had to do a few short breaks so I don't know how long it's gonna be but all the information that I told you here is in just in that one section so from here to here everything is explained so that's why it's kind of important to familiarize yourself with the readme because it just tells you everything uh, but yeah, I since people ask a lot, I wanted to make a video, so here it is. Uh, enjoy, I guess. If there are any important notes additionally to that that I don't think of before I finish editing this video, I'm just gonna put it in comments or, or the description. So yeah, head there. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you.